Hello and welcome to episode 8 of our inventory system series. In the previous episodes we worked on our widget screens for our inventory grid and in this episode we want to start work on our drag and drop functionality. In particular this episode we're going to go through and create the widgets for our drag and drop preview so we can drag around a little icon around to showcase the player what they are actually doing. So let's jump straight in. So in order for our drag and drop operations to work, we need to work on, first of all, the preview image that we can be dragging around. So we can show them what they are dragging around between different menus. So let's go into our inventory folder and open up the UI folder and we're going to create a new user widget. And I'm going to name this one uh, W underscore drag preview. We'll come back there in a moment and we're then going to go into set up the drag and drop operation. So go right click into blueprint class and search for all classes. And in here you will look for drag drop operation. And we'll call this one uh, DD inventory. Now we've got the drag and drop inventory slot set up. Uh, we are now going to open it up and set up what details we want to send over to our drag and drop operation. So all you're going to do in here is quite simply just add a single variable. Uh, it's going to keep track of what is the item we're going to be sending across. So inside our drag and drop inventory slot, we're going to set up two variables that we want to use. First thing we're going to have is going to be the inventory component itself. So we know which comp inventory we're dragging to and from. I'm going to change the variable type here to our inventory system. And then we're going to add another variable, which is going to be the index of which item we are dragging around. So inside our inventory component, there's an array. This will be the index of that array that we'll be actually dragging around. So that will be an integer. Okay, so now we've got that done, we're going to go over to our widget that we uh, set up previously. So Let's go into our UI folder and open up our drag preview. So you get a simple widget here. We're going to have a simple size box to make it fit a certain size. And in the size box, we're going to set the width and height override. We're going to change these to, let's say, 80 and 80. Okay, so we've got a nice square shape. Inside of our size box, we're going to use a border. And in this border, we're going to have an image. So in the border here, we'll make a nice circle background. This will allow, make it a little bit pretty and let's add out from the square slots that we're using. So I'm going to create a, a new folder here for my materials. And then in here, we're going to create a new material, uh, which is going to be our MUI material for our circle. Open this up, and the first thing we need to do is change this to a user interface domain. So change it down there in the drop, drop there box there. So to create a simple sphere shape, we're going to use a sphere mask. So next, we're going to also want to make this uh, masked. So we've got that opacity coming through there. And then we want to set up the A and B values for our sphere mask. The A node is going to be the texture coordinate node. A shortcut for that is U left click. And then the B value is going to be the uh, vector, which is our two, uh, two vector. And this will be the center point of the whole entire thing. So if our UV is going between zero and one, the center point will be 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So we're going to add a two vector, by a shortcut by the way is two left click and just set this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. But then we want to change the radius here to be 0.5 as well to match that sort of sizing. Um, and we're going to leave hardness as 100. So then we're going to put in our drag preview here. Uh, we go to the border and setting up our MUI circle. And then I was going to go change the tint here to be black. So we've got a nice black circle in the background there. Now we're not seeing it right now because the image is blocking up the whole view, uh, but we'll, we'll be changing that in a moment. So that's not an issue. 
So what we're going to do is add padding to our image. So it kept inside of the circle. So just by changing it to 15, I get a nice padded image around inside there. So this widget does need to know which, which widget, uh, which item to display, sorry. So we're going to add a new variable in here and we're going to add an item ID, which is a name variable type. And then we're going to use this name to search for our information in the database or data table. And this will get us the image we need to use. So in our pre-construct, we're going to drag out our item ID. And then we're going to use it to use get data table row. Plug it in and then select, make sure you select the item data table from the item data from the data table list. And we're going to break open our alt row here to see access to all our information, including our thumbnail, which is what we would actually want. So you drag in our image widget there and do set brush from texture. And that will be plugged in and the texture will be the thumbnail link there. And that's it for here. That will change the image based upon what we're setting on the preview there. And there we have it. We've now got the start of our widget for our drag and drop. In the next episode, we're gonna go through the process of making it so we can click and drag around this icon by clicking on a slot. You can watch our next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can watch all my videos early before everyone else. Thank you to all my patrons and your members for the continued support. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.